today. From Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. This is the NFL on EA Sports. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Chicago Bears and the Atlanta Falcons. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week, and we are underway from Atlanta. From out of his end zone, it's Avery Williams. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll have a former Heisman Trophy winner calling the shots, hailing from the island of Oahu in Hawaii, Marcus Mariota. Coming out of Oregon as the Heisman Trophy winner, we thought that this guy was headed towards superstardom, and while he didn't quite reach those heights, he did have some flashes along the way. And right now, his athleticism continues to keep him in the league. Still has a good arm, mobile, a great guy to have in the locker room. He can win if given an opportunity. And Mariota going to put it up right away. Got this complete to the tight end pit. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Throwing is Mariota. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. To throw is Mariota. A complete to Drake London. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be Try to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. On second down, a run with Patterson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Mariota. That'll be taken in by Demir Bird. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 45-yard line. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Throw it. Mariota. Throw caught here by Bird. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Back to the ground now, Patterson. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. 
Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 18. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Mariota going to run the option right. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Mariota. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. And the first play will be a field goal try. This a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. Two knocks this one through the post. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can bring things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And the first possession isn't until the second quarter, but what's nice about it, it's only down three. So what you sell your team on is, look, one possession, one drive, we put it in the end zone. We're in the lead in this game. Let's go, guys. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Fields looking downfield for Jones and a high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And it will be Falcon football. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Out of the gun, a run with Patterson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll run with Patterson. 
And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. They're able to convert with a gain of four. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 47. Now Mariota. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Play fake, Mariota. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3-0 our score. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Over the middle, he gets it to Patterson. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Mariota, and that throw behind his man. He missed him, incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. A five-yard touchdown catch, and they are able to add on to their advantage. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area, and he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Extra point attempt to follow here. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Ebner going to elect to bring this out of the end zone here. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goalposts. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs. To oh, a leap and he will make the catch. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It's a gain of 35. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover or put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Here's Fields. They'll let this go for the end zone. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Meanwhile, Fields throw there, hauled in by Claypool. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. So they went with a trickery there on the fake punt, hoping to catch that return team flat-footed, but it did not work out. And you were talking about trying to catch them flat-footed. That's what they were hoping for, trying to catch them off guard. But that's a well-coached team on the other side. They were more than prepared, and they were able to stop it. A first down throw for Mariota. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Mariota. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. 
And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Fields. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. Oh, and this turns into a mess as it's intercepted. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. So a holding penalty, and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. Mariota. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Mariota now from the 50. That's caught left side, the tight end pits. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Mariota to throw it. Dancing to his left. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. Here's Mariota. Steps away. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. He's going to keep this again. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. And this is picked up by the Bears. He's at the 30. 10. And they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. And you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. Mm -hmm. 
And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Well, the Falcons back out getting set for this next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, Patterson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. To throw Mariota. Buying time to his left. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Mariota now. Flush to his right, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now Mariota. He'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Looking to throw. Pass complete to Bird out right here. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And the Bears take over. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Atlanta. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. On play action, Fields going for the deep ball. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. A huge play there for Chicago, and even 40 yards. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of, and in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of, trying to engineer a fourth quarter comeback, and he hits a big one right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit... Yeah, he's got Moody in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. 
Jarnell Mooney, 28 yards. And the Bears have taken a fourth quarter lead. The fly route works for the TD Graham. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the stripe. Santos now to add the PAT. And that makes it 14-10. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And finishing it all off was Darnell Mooney with a touchdown reception. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. First and 10 now for the Falcons and Mariota at their own 26. Beginning on the ground with Patterson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. That second down play, Nets a minus four. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10 at the 40. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Going up the gut, Montgomery. 
Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Back to throw, Fields. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one in a bad spot, but fortunately it's just an incompletion and not picked to bring up fourth down. Santos' kick is up and through, and that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. So here is Mariota and the Falcons trailing 17-10, a minute 37 remaining. Mariota, how will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. To throw Mariota. Able to find Patterson. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. That's caught by Pitts. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Here's Mariota. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Patterson. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Mariota's throw caught by Bird here. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 45-yard line. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Mariota yelling out the play call as he hustles everyone to get set. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Well, it came down to the final play in such a close ball game. What a game it was, but they can't get that last throw off. Good job by that defense to get in there for the sack to seal it. And for fans watching the game, a little bit anticlimactic, don't you think, partner? Not even able to get off one last throw to see how it would have turned out. Instead, pass rush got to him and ended it that way. For Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. Till next time, we say so long from Atlanta.